Hello, hello, testing, testing, one, two, one, two. Yeah, we can see certain we can see. There's a Pokemon chair. Yep. Cool. Three, two, one, ah. Okay, so just for an FYI, we've already gone through one set. Uh, we had Philip go out first, he went as Kirby, he ended up three stocking the Aegis already, so SB Zoo is up 9 6 at the moment. But today is uh, week four. Right? Week four? Yep, yeah, week four. Uh, week four of competition for all three A, B, and C team. Uh, who are we? Like, I see who we're reversing, yeah. but I want to fully confirm who we're reversing. Yeah. Oh, I'll see. <laughs> say, I, I don't think we're checking here in like, seven minutes. I don't think so. <laughs> Make sure Valerie's got a nine for LC team, though. Real geek spot says. Got here. So we are first reversing uh, Panthers Gaming SSB Bros S3. Uh, the actual college name is Albany College of Pharma uh, Pharmacy and Health Sciences. Yes. Supposedly big competition right here. Albany, I think, is number one. Uh, actually, we got to check on stream, so... so I think they can hear us, right? Uh, no, they can hear us. Oh, cool. Oh. It looks like Philip's going against a Palutena right now. Started off really big with... Hasn't lost a stock yet, took off one. Oh, up smash! There we go. Smash on shield, one of Kirby's quickest ones. Uh, I have a feeling, most likely with Philip and Kirby, it's more of a matchup check for everyone because when you verse a good Kirby at like any point in time, you know, really, you get your usual younger brother down B up B sort of oh, thing. Oh, yeah. You're rocking. So. Yeah, yeah. Philip's so good with uh, Kirby and it's so cool to watch. See a little pink puff ball just absolutely like <laughs> right now killing a shot us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a little funny in my opinion. I mean, Kirby is probably canonically one of the most powerful characters. <laughs> In this game, so I mean, he's killed gods before just because they stole his cake or ate it. <laughs> I mean, he's blown up. Oh, the oh, uh, dash go. attack! Oh no! Oh, not taking it yet. Di from the Palutena. Down smash not connected. Going for oh countered. Yeah, even though Kirby had little nubs, his down smash boom taking the off smash. That's all right. But what? even though Kirby has little nubs, his down mm -hmm. smash can still two frame people on. Ledge, which is, in my opinion, a little funny. Because he has a little <laughs> calls. Oh, there we go. smash kills. There we go. Still taking the second set. So we'll have to see who Albany sends up for the third. Yeah, uh, this was, uh, Phillips just playing so well. Three stocking the Aegis and then just 
just killing it against this Palantina. Did lose his stock. We are still we still have eight stocks left, and they have to go. They only have one guy left. Mm-hmm. So have to get through three people, which could be John, Andrew, or Dylan. Yeah. So I got my last guy's got quite a bit of a hole to dig out of. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we gotta see. We'll see who they're playing next, and it, what happens. Uh, and then what's also so a team will be playing on the SVSU Cardinal stream here at eight o'clock. That's when they should be getting up and going. Uh, our C team will be playing at nine o'clock. Don't know what stream yet, but they'll be playing at nine. Most likely, will probably yep. be on Puff. Uh, Check out every single one. What's it? Oh, Arc Pit. With the light, we'll say. Yeah, Arc Pit's an interesting character too. He's more of an all-rounder character. A really good beginner character. Yeah, a lot of people always say that Pit, uh, that Pit's always a lot on, yes. a lot more honest than other characters as well. Which I mean, I believe his hitboxes do tend to kind of hit as they show yeah. compared to a little more jank. We'll see how it goes here. So that both looks like they're fishing. Dash attack on shield. Ooh. Yeah, most likely uh, Dark Pit's gonna want to hit a falling mare to down tilt. Yeah. I have feeling that's his big combo starter if I remember playing Pit a little bit. Yeah. Oh, there we go with the jab. Oh, wow. Nice. Good two down tilts to the forward. The forward smash. Very good. Forward tilt. But yeah, I have a feeling that this matchup for Kirby, I don't think is too well against Pit, because, I mean, Pit's got his, you know, kind of bow sword thing. Yeah. I don't know what it's called. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but he should be able to outrange Kirby, or at least kind of stuff him out most of the yeah. time. Nice up smash by Kirby. But you can have, you know, Kirby just taking up, have enough smash and take a stock here and there, because, you know. Yeah, smash. Smash. <laughs> Ooh. Cool, too, because a lot of these characters, these, both, both these characters have pretty good recovery, so they can play in the air for a little bit. Mm -hmm. I mean, Dark Pit's got four jumps, Kirby's mm -hmm. got seven, so. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of air time in this game. Yeah, so we see back gear coming out. We can feel just killing it right now. Yeah. Uh, by the sounds of it, sounds like we'll probably have Dylan starting that yeah. match. Yeah, that was awesome. Dylan's debut. He's a very bouncy lad. You were right indeed, Bunny. You were right indeed. <laughs> Every time he jumps, I love watching his little arm. Yeah. Little bounce and he does a little poop up. There we go. Nice. Up oh, smash. One stock apiece. Will, S will SVSU do it here? Oh, I think oh yes. Yes. Oh, oh we escaped. That's all right. So very serious situation. If that was any other character but Pit, they probably would have been dead. Yes. Ooh. Missed a grab there. I feel like it's been really hard for Pit trying to get an opening here. Phillips has been playing so well around everything. Yeah, he's been spacing everything pretty well, been staying out of his range, kind of going in when he feels. Yes. So like even right there, just waiting out to see if Pit would throw out an option. And yeah. There you go. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, he's going for the hammer reap. There's the forward smash, and that is game one for SVS in SVSU's favor. That was pretty dominant, if uh, I do say so myself. Yes, I mean, I mean, we finished that in little over ten minutes. Not very long. Yeah. So the question is, will they send out? Will they keep Philip in, or will they send out Dylan? I have a feeling they'll probably throw out Dylan because. Mm -hmm. I mean, he hasn't gotten to play too much, and I mean, by from what Philip Pil has just shown, I mean, yeah, you can easily probably throw someone else out, and hey, if he doesn't take too many, then you just you throw Phil back in, John or you know Andrew. Yeah. So we might get the the Dylan debut now. Yeah. That's the question is, will he go monkey for the Monkey Monday? That's a good question. Will he go monkey? Will he go Ganon or villager? <laughs> Honestly, if he goes DK, that's gonna be a little funny in my opinion. That would be that would honestly be hilarious. Oh, what's happening? Yo, oh. they're oh Phillips. Okay, they're sending oh, out Philip first. Was, did they re accidentally do something wrong? Was it the wrong stage or something like that? Oh. Uh -huh. uh, okay, the other team's just getting ahead of themselves to hop back in, so I have a feeling they're leading with a dark pit. Okay. It's just we're not ready. Stages haven't been picked properly. So. Yep. So yeah. So they're probably um. The Lancey. Yeah, well, Nancy, they're they're kind of like, all right, let's get this, let's get this going. Uh, I think this would be perfect to send out uh, Dylan here, especially that that villager. He can do a lot with that villager, and it's kind of scary just to all of a sudden see Ganondorf. I know. 
Okay. Who's this? This is John's, I think. Yeah, this is John's. What is broken. that from? It's uh, John's dock. It's the back piece for uh, covering all the wires. Um, he doesn't have his uh, piece, so uh, it kind of just kind of falls off here and there. It hangs out. So we sure to give this back to him when we see him. Yeah. I could also see him going out Andrew here, but I don't know if they really need to, even though Andrew knows the, knows the Dark Pit matchup really well. Yeah. Um, Phil's walking out. Looks like Dylan's going in, but I mean, Andrew's also in there as well, so we'll, we'll see. see. We'll see. I'll be very excited to see Dylan's debut. He's been trying. He's been he's been putting in the work. Also, SVSU Cardinals has just gone live, so it looks like A team is just getting ready to start. Mm -hmm. My mom texted me saying, "Crap, I'll get on." I told her we're commentating. I'm commentating. She said, "Crap, I'll get it on." <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching, mom, hi, mom. <laughs> <laughs> we got some viewers in chat. It's exciting to see them out, but. Oh. Pretty decent. I'm... Yeah. I think. Hello there. Yo, what up? That was a good match. Got the call going. Do we still have? Yeah. No, don't worry. About it. Yeah. I would say they they should be. Okay. Should yeah, I assume so. Yeah. Dylan de the Dylan debut. The Dylan debut. Yeah. We got noise on the background. Uh, our thing says rock. Right. Uh, right. 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 I know for uh, it's basically link it does switch. Hey, hey, Brittany. Uh, the SVSU Cardinal channel uh, says that we're still in the league. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we don't. Yeah, can you change? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. The Dylan debut. This is going to be good. Honestly, kind of hoping he'll go DK here. I really want to see this. In I think that would be so funny if he went DK on Monkey Monday. <laughs> I always make that joke, but really no one besides Gabe... <laughs> Andrew and Dylan have a monkey, really. Yes. And Dylan's monkey, his pocket monkey, can is very scary. Just waiting for the pick here. I wonder what stage he would go if he did pick like Ganondorf, or like someone like a heavy like Ganondorf, or maybe something like something, maybe something that doesn't have a lot of plats. Yeah. Probably uh, like F D maybe. Oh no, F D is a uh, counter pick. Yeah, I was about to have it. Mm. at most he can really get town. That'd be about it. Yeah. Or I mean, if you really wanted to, he'd go Smashville to that flat above for an F Smash for you. Yes, I. We can maybe see a um. If we do see the Ganon, we could see a um, a Warlock punch come out here. Oh, that'd be hilarious. That would be amazing. Or maybe an up tilt. <laughs> <laughs> if he gets either roar, that'd be the, the biggest. Way to play. So hard if he gets an up tilt roll. Warlock punch. That would be so good because those moves are so hard to hit. Yeah, but they're so funny. They take so long. And it's just like, is your opponent doing panic often? Yeah. Here we go. There it is, the Ganon. Dylan pulling out the Ganon. It's gonna be interesting. It's, it's, I mean, again, it's, even though Ganon's probably the worst character in the game, he is very. He's still very scary. He can do like thirty to forty percent with one F smash. Two, one, go. And we do go. We do see battlefield right here. Oh, all right. Thirty-nine percent down smash from pit. Yeah, looks like it might just be a oh. little bit of kind of nerves on first yeah. day, first try. Oh, wow, wow, nice by Dylan. Yeah, I know, right? You don't really see them too often on competitive aspect. I mean, but I mean, sometimes you will find on start of the GG that there are Ganondorf only tournaments. I also don't know what I'm allowed to say anything about the else. We just not free, so we jab. Looks like we're going to be seeing a bit of a scramble here. Hit going for the dash attack, getting Ganon off stage. Of course, Ganon is not good off stage. That is where he does not want to be. Successfully getting back on stage. Go getting the first kill with that dash attack. Dash attack, of course, being one of Ganon's best moves. Ooh, Pit going for the side B. He's at high percent. Ganon is a very heavy character. He won't die super easily. Won't get launched super duper far. Ooh, getting some stuff. No, it really doesn't. Ganon being very slow, but he has some nice tricks that people might not be expecting. I will say this Dark does have a good tech situation, tech situational awareness of the side B. Absolutely. We know Dylan's going for that down tilt right afterwards, or maybe enough tilt. We don't seem that far off. I don't know what this is about how much Wi-Fi they play, but it says something. It absolutely does. 
Pit going for some Nair here. Pit has some decent combos, but not seeing too many here. Kind of just getting raw hits. A few straight hits here. To be fair, some of the pit combos are slightly more advanced. They are relatively precise. That's 100% true. Dylan doing a good job kind of keeping stage control, keeping Pit off the stage. Sure, we'll get back in front of the way on stage against Gandorf while we win. Gandorf, of course, known for being very slow. He's known absolutely for a lot of things. Strong and slow. Yeah, that's it. You know what? Good Honestly, stuff. Those picks are on point. Yeah, One good 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 take. Beautiful stuff. Just bringing an eight. Nah. For y'all as well. Thank you much. Of course. Getting that stock again. Keeping him on platforms here. Pitt's kind of just staying on the platforms. Keeps going for side B. It does keep armoring through things. Can't blame him. This, uh, this game could be ending pretty soon here. Again, you're going to be here because I can sort of kill you. Ooh. I feel like Dylan probably could have turned that around and maybe grabbed Pitt. <laughs> that would have been kind of funny. Of course, first kind of debut game for Dylan here. Might expect some nerves. He's, he's doing an absolutely bang up job for his first time. I will say doing stage control is really good. Beautiful and things. Back here Getting back that, that stock. I mean, we'll see. You know, it's gonna hurt more. Yeah. You gotta really put him down if you want to take him out, Ganon. Never feels good to get him. It's such an explosive character, ironically, considering how slow he is. It's either explosive to the enemy or self destructive himself. You know what? It, at least it goes both ways. Mm -hmm. I think that's the only way they can balance Ganon with how much damage he outputs. It's better than Brawl. Yes, much better than Brawl. <laughs> We take better than bro. Honestly, I feel like that's just the easy way to compare characters. Were they better in their brawl version, or are they better now? <laughs> yeah. I mean, still I'm still waiting for the 64 days to come back. <laughs> oh, back when Falcon was top of the meta. Back when Kirby was the meta. <laughs> back when yes. Kirby was the meta. I'm not sure what we're talking about. Smash 64 first ever Smash game, or the. Was it N N64? N64, Nintendo 64. That's that's really what it was called? Yeah, yeah. yeah. 64. That's so weird. Oh, oh Nintendo 64. Entertainment. The NES? NES? No, no, the NES. Oh, just... Fair enough. Yeah, it's just the NES. See what he goes, oh my god, tell him to SD! Yes. We're not that far behind, so... There he goes, bolting across, student life. I don't think we're really behind. We're like five seconds behind. I know, we're not too far behind. I think the stream delay might still be on in like three minutes, but you know what? That's an issue for, for another time. Yep, yeah, that's another time. There we go. Oh, wait, no, that's stream delay for eight. Yeah, I'm gonna fix that afterwards. Ooh, going with Lucina here. Range is going to be maybe difficult for Ganon to deal with. He's very slow. Be easier for Lucina to space. Not sure how much she's worried about it though. Swords are normally dropping for most melee characters like Ganon, or well, technically, there's most characters near the bottom of the tier list. Yes. He did a very good job of playing out just outside the range of Ganondorf. Once again, he's very slow enough to have many options of getting in with. Now, Ganon does have the big sword moves, which will outrange all of Lucina's moves, if I'm not mistaken. And also kill at about 50. <laughs> <laughs> I would say honestly, even with 30% here, not smash that ledge could kill. Yeah. And it's Ganon we're talking about. I'd say poor you, we both, if they didn't bully him off stage. Getting good stuff here. It's then there comes out two hits on a shield. Ganon sacrificing combos for every stray hit, doing a lot more damage and killing a lot earlier. And with combos he does have, it's like three hits. Mm -hmm. that. 60 damage. Well, yeah, yeah. To be fair, but like it's from zero. He yes. doesn't have anything past like 40. His 3 hit combo could does the exact same amount of damage as like Sheik's 27 hit combo. Air yeah. 1 will combo into Jab for a very long time. And up tilt. On paper, Ganondorf works perfectly. He's got the 0% combos to put you at kill percent, and then F Smash just kills. And then you put it into practice. It does not work. Up there. Ooh, not quite getting the stock here. But I guess we will see who they will be sending next. It's between Andrew and John. Yeah. I have either Pip or the other anchor for in that time, so we'll see. So uh not left the uh, back of the I see, that's where it went. And we see on the A stream stream they're actually gonna be two two, a Kendrick against a Weefus. We will be we have that up on the SSU Cardinals channel. Let's 
to see you going through the bands now. This team very much likes PS2. Yes, it seems to be. They probably all within friendlies are just like, hey, PS2, PS2. And they don't cut anyone like me or Andrew here to ban them. Play something along the lines of Terrence. And it looks like John is going in with a pocket Terry. He's kidding. <laughs> Of all, out of all of the options. <laughs> yes, Terry. What could go wrong on Wi-Fi? Oh. And he's still oh, on Ganon. He's on Ganon. No, no. I was about to say, all I right, think he's no longer on Ganon. I think that was the other team I accidentally started it early. They have been a little antsy at times, because they tried to start a game after your set was done with it. It seems like they have been a little poor. We were, we were panicking a small bit, because I couldn't figure out which controller was connected. I mean, John's Bowser does really good. I mean, he ended up being Nook at... <laughs> You know, being Nook at the, um, what was it, the uh, Tri-City Tri -City Tryhards. And he did. You know what? On the A-Stream, I can't wait to see if we have a Weefa Ditto. <gasps> yeah, that's very oh, true. He's doing it, Terry. The Terry coming His blue Terry, oh, The Terry, once again, well, Shoto's in this game in general, known for being very explosive with combos that just happen to, like, put you at 60% from a straight air. Very much straight down until half time. If they get a hit, you're probably taking a whole lot more percent than you thought you were. Oh, yeah. However, John taking up Terry recently and actually practicing some combos today with him in the lab court. Match has started. Even talking a little bit with Kendra. Get some help with it. The resident showed up player we have at SVSU. Getting them basic sound. Now, Lucina versus Terry. Once again, it's going to be the issue of a sword. Yep, yeah, it's if Terry can get in. At most, his fair might be able to outspace, but again, we'll get stuffed out. Terry having faster moves, but Lucina having the range kind of keep Terry out, just poke at him with the sword. Ooh, unless it does something like that. Uh, I'm gonna call it. He's gonna get hit in 80 and he's gonna kill it. Ah, very likely. Kind of seems like this Lucina is the style that he doesn't want. It seems to be he, more He's kind of got a rushdown yeah. style and Lucina's just throwing out the preemptive moves. I don't think they're very preemptive. I think Lucina's just throwing yeah. out the moves. <laughs> it is preemptive. Yep, no, but he's just is. trying to find some kill, kill moves right now, because it's been almost only down smashes and smash, F smashes right now. Maybe they'll mix in with smash, we'll find out. <laughs> he looks for the jab, jab, power dive, not power dive, buster wolf, as he as his favorite confirmed right now. Yeah, but it is. Here it is. You know, Lucina is still just fishing for the smash attacks. Yeah, so he's probably, oh, I was gonna say, have he's probably gonna throw out a uh, power geyser here soon, but. Yeah, we'll find out. We shall find out. That is one of his less confident inputs. Yeah. I want to say during practice he gets a lot of Buster Wolf from the times that I've noticed. Yes, he does. But Terry with the ghost sauce. Fun fact about Terry. If you get him to 100, how they gave like most DLC characters a DLC mechanic, Terry's is once he gets to 100%, he gets two extra input moves. One of them is that, which deals like 30, kills at 100, and hits Battlefield top platform. Also can two frame the ledge for some reason. Can also confirm off uh, up till that 16 kill. That yeah, can. And then the other is Buster Wolf, which, if we saw him sliding forward, is a command grab by all technicalities, just it doesn't go through shields. It's like it's not really a command, it's, it's, it's some sort of grab. It's still technically a hitbox, but we don't talk about actual technicalities in Smash. We 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 given up trying to figure that out long ago. Yeah, Zachary and I never really truly explained it, so we kind of just live with it. Ooh, crack your axe He's going the wrong way, but he's not going to make it back. Terry does have a little bit of magnet hands, but I've noticed when he has to turn around and drop the... Yeah, he does. He can reach almost a full carry like the way half the time. Even maybe an extra foot. Just got to get, get, get the extendo arms. <laughs> and we're going to see John in the left after switching against the scene, and the down air coming up and being saved by the stage. Unfortunate. Very bad. Mm -hmm. Bowser and Bowser dash back and up smash there. It's a lovely little Bowser, so... Some play styles carry over. And almost reading the up smash off the roll, but charging for a bit too long. Seeing a small bit scared on the platform. Yep. John just waiting for her to come down. John just menacingly dancing around. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Dash attack. I thought he was looking for a jab jab power down. By the way, he was just kind of throwing out jab ones here and there. So most of you sent in Seth on the ace room. The A roll versus Weep it on the one star cleanup. But speaking of one star cleanup, we've got John against the Lucina at 0%. Let's find out if he can hold on to the stock going in the next round. Put the ghost sauce online. 
We have yeah. more kill confirms for John, his favorite of the bunch. I, I see him menacingly teabagging in neutral, so he's probably doing it, but just don't know which one. Yeah. As long as he doesn't try to shoot the wrong way, we kill him. Yeah, and John also likes to, uh, you know, possibly input teabagging a little bit, even offline if he's down. But we see the F-Smash actually catching the Terry at ledge, putting it down to one stock piece. Seems to be in a slightly tough spot getting trying to get down from juggle situations, but it's it's Terry, so he can't really juggle too well. At most he can air train now, or he can air on. Um... Oh, I forgot what this is, um, what's special? Uh, Burning Knuckles. Yep. And the... Ah, uh, there we go, the Burning Knuckles. Uh, oh, almost taken it. We actually saw the Lucina's shield come out in time, but then they dropped because they assumed another hit was coming. Mm -hmm. yeah, and there's the jab, jab, power dunk. There we go. Good old bread and butter. Good old day one. It's like when people realize that was a thing. Okay. That'll put this count to four to three in SVCU's favor. Meanwhile, Seth is down a stock against the Wii Fit on the A stream. And at kill percent, while the Wii Fit is still living at 150. It looks like it's just a projectile game over there. <laughs> like it was almost no longer. And well, I guess it's no longer a game. Deep breathing off the side in a cannonball. There's the slightly cough toes. This is you going into, I believe, game three, technically, if we're counting the games, not as the sets. We're going to be going into player two versus player two. Yep. Two stocks to three stocks, five to six. Okay, I've still got half a little bit of checking, till checking. Granted, I feel like you guys will be done far before then, so. Most likely. The spot also wanted to freak me out saying match time check in is now, but it is not indeed. <laughs> it is at 9 p.m. The spot does not like that. Yes, that's right. We will have C teams starting their game at 9. Most likely back on this channel. Depends on how A team's game goes. Forgetting an SD for a second. If you would have done any damage to power, if you would have had to, you know, take another stock. Immediately been going to three versus yep, three. Yeah, that's right. Down to one stock. Hey, come on, come on. Sorry, you got ready. They both give me off the, the, the celebratory taunt. Not really celebratory, but. I'm very trying to wait out and get still. Yeah. I just sit there. Ah. Uh, we see him going for the down throw to probably jab, burn knuckle. One of the times very proud of the represents. Haven't seen much of it though. This team likes to roll a good amount. Yes, that's one thing I noticed. A lot of them like to roll through each other, not quite a way, but just through the player. Just as a move, it's a movement option now. Technically, it is. The up smash is barely catching the last hit. As long as John can, John can take a stock here, he can put him in a pretty good situation, as he does. Yeah, he did reading the getup attack. Follow Dana. Most likely going to see another stock coming out. A small bit of lag, messing up his confirm there. If he just charged a little longer, he probably could have caught it. Also, and uh, John will accidental SD. It happens sometimes. Terry likes to drift a good bit. Yeah, especially if he accidentally do reverse that right and tackle. Maybe make it back. And we shall be sending in Andrew as the last contestant for SVSU B team. Will he play Falco? Will he play Aegis or will he play Falcon? Most likely. Probably the Falcon. You know what? Watch him pull out the DDD. <laughs> the online DDD. The Pengu has been waiting, lying in wait for too long. Over on the A stream, we have a Croc vs. Ridley. We have the big boy matchup. It is indeed just projectiles currently. Oh, wait, number one, Seth's going in. No, back to projectiles. <laughs> Here we are. This is apparently the life of the, of the... Not even the two most viable heavies, but of of some heavies. The two few heavies with projectiles. Heavies. They're definitely the largest in the uh, it's match. Yes, ironically enough, though, Ridley is pretty late. I, I think, think he's later than Samus, but I'm not entirely sure on that one. I want to say he was actually lighter than Pichu, because... Uh, PK Pichu? beats, yeah. PK beats did a uh, 
weight analysis of that, and I want to say that Ridley was lighter. I don't believe so. I thought Petrie was like the lightest in the game. We're gonna see. I'm gonna pull up their stats. Pichu. I think you can go and just. Uh, Pichu's weight is 62. Oh wait, again. Oh wait, no word sets. Uh, this is just uh, one of the. Uh, uh, just... I see. I thought it was the website. Then we should know because a lot easier to go in here than it is to constantly look it up. Fair enough. And we're gonna see Seth setting up for ledge trap as A team is trying. Sorry, B team is trying to figure out their next stage pan. Okay, Ridley's weight is 107. So. So nowhere near the bottom. Yeah, it's just his gravity is worse than Pichu, yep. which could have an effect on what PK Pizza had done his analysis on. It's on the Mario stage with the uh, weighted platforms in the middle. Yeah. I don't believe gravity affects how early you die weight-wise, it just affects how fast you fall. Yes, I think it affects how fast you fall, but... Yeah, I don't think gravity would, because maybe off of up smashes it might allow you to live and like die faster because it's just a straight-up motion. But, because I mean, you don't get a DI. In, ooh. I mean, one stocks to two in favor of Junior to College over on the A stream. Says fighting tooth and claw quite literally in this matchup. Do I bring it back? Both the big lizard boys. Right in the river. That is. And here we go with Andrew pulling out the Falcon. Yes, he's only got two power stocks to run through. And we most likely mean that literally. <laughs> Run through the chicka 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 Hype trains a day on is a day ahead of time when Falcons running. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it was about four days ahead of. Uh, so we had it on Friday, but and we're getting fifth place. Was it? I think it was fifth. Fifth place at Tri City. Uh, I have a feeling Andrew's probably going to fish beside the IDJ up air right now because ooh. the counter coming out the day one. Yeah. I have a feeling Andrew will probably bait that out next time because the will probably thinks it's a good idea now. So. I found Andrew and Paul said there's the X match waiting. It's not gonna be, not gonna get caught off guard a second time. Boom, once. It's a shame on you. And twice. You're probably seeing the F smash. There are almost no second chances here in Smash. You yep. might get one, but that's probably X death. Yep, yep. Coming out almost ending the ball in the West Zone. Battlefield being small, too large. First knee catching. Oh, what was it? Actually, no, that was air dodge. Was air dodge. It's catching something. Got the follow. Caught the power going invisible and coming back. Hold her back out of the anchor. <laughs> and now she starts not getting a chance to breathe because Andrew's following her literally to the top left zone. Yeah, that's... Andrew's gonna be looking for more knees because I mean, why not? You're up stomp. You know, stomp Falcon Punch, do it. <laughs> I mean, stomp me the thing even off stage as long as you fastball quick enough. <laughs> Fair enough. You always see Fatality hitting that online. I don't believe it this percent. I mean, I think yeah, the down air just kills. Yeah, it probably just kills him. Let's go ahead and pop the blast on for whatever reason. He's got, a, he's got to up throw him down air into the knee. That's what he's got to do. He's looking for narrow one knee, though. Yeah, if he's looking for narrow one knee or up air, landing up air knee. Oh, must be fearing for their legs, currently. Question is, do they know the narrow one knee setup? They do not. <laughs> it turns out there's not much you can do. There we go. SVSU closing it out 2-0 against Alvin. Granted, in their second game, Alvin did do a lot better. Brought us down to our last two stocks. Oh, good games to both sides. For now, and if you would like to head over to the SVSU Cardinal stream where we have A teams match currently 3 to 4 with the game going in, covering Mewtwo for some reason. We shall be heading over there. I'm going to go and have Jake call us. Uh, technically, I actually already have them in here. I just muted us on screen so it's on the other screen for us because uh, I have John in there already for that at me in here. So, okay. understood. I'm just gonna click over. What's up? Can you guys hear me? <laughs> 